Chair, Madam Speaker, my question to the Minister of Finance is this. Um, the Liberals, actually, during the campaign, did not say to Canadians that they would spend $4.5 billion to buy a leaky uh, pipeline, but yet that is what they're doing. And instead of doing that, why don't we see the government investing that money into green energy, into mm -hmm. the, the future, where climate action is so necessary, not just for our generation today, but for generations to come? So that's my question to the Minister of Finance. Why don't we reinvest that $4.5 billion? Billion dollars to buy the Kinder Morgan uh, now Trans Mountain leaky pipeline into action that matters for the future for the environment. The Iron Minister of Employment. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I share the member's passion for the environment, and that's why, in fact, we have proposed a, a price on pollution because Canadians know that pollution isn't free and we're all paying for the cost of storms and floods and, and, and droughts and wildfires and extreme heat. And so our government has a plan to protect the environment and grow the economy and it's working. Our emissions are down. Canadians have created over half a million full-time jobs since we were elected and we know we need to do more. And that's why we're going to move forward in ensuring a price across Canada on what we don't want, which is pollution, so we can get what we do want, which is lower emissions and cleaner air, new business opportunities, and more money in the pockets of Canadians. Uh, Madam Speaker, we know that Andrew Scheer's uh, plan is... I just want to remind the member she's not to mention the names of uh, individuals uh, that, that are sitting in the House, and I would ask her to wrap up so that other questions can be asked. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I apologize. We know that the leader of the opposition's plan is to follow Stephen Harper by making pollution free again. And, Madam Speaker, we're taking action to protect our climate to ensure the health of this place for generations to come. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. You know, the minister earlier answered the question to say that they're doing a whole lot on the climate action file, just to remind the government that they're actually adopting Harper's mm -hmm. uh, targets, mm -hmm. and sure. even at that, they're not going to meet those targets. Now, I want to ask another question. The government brags about the uh, housing file, to say that they have a national affordable housing program. The truth of the matter is, 90% of that money won't flow until after the next election. So my question is, can people who are homeless today, who are in desperate need to have a home, how to have shelter uh, and to have a safe place to go to, does the minister actually think that it's appropriate to defer the money in flowing the dollars to build the housing until after the next election? The Honourable Minister of Employment. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. And in fact, in our first budget, we invested $5.8 billion in housing across this country. It was just a down payment, Madam Speaker. We have an ambitious housing strategy that will eliminate homelessness by 50 per cent in a decade. Madam Speaker, in fact, uh, the investments were made in the member opposite's riding in affordable housing, as she may know. Uh, if not, we're happy to tell her about those investments at any point. M Madam Speaker, this is uh, really one of the reasons I went into uh, politics. And in fact, as a former executive director of a homeless shelter in northwestern Ontario, I can tell you that investing in affordable housing is one of the best ways to actually help people out of poverty and move people along the continuum and ensure that they too have a fair chance of success. It was my extreme pleasure to be one of the ministers to be able to talk about the housing strategy when it was launched. I will continue to work with my colleagues uh, from any side that is, wants to work on this issue with us because it's incredibly important. It will contribute to the prosperity and the fair chance for every Canadian. Thank you.